and welcome to the Downtown Kentucky Podcast-ish. <laughs> what? We're in the same room. It's crazy. We've never done that for a podcast. Mm-hmm. All my hair looks like crap because of the headphones. Mm-hmm. Um, we are doing a podcast, special end of year edition thing. It's yeah. not live. You didn't get to see this live. Not that you would have showed up if we did. Nope. <laughs> Statistically speaking, Statistically you know, speaking, it's not your fault. You wouldn't be no there. No one watches our no videos. One, no one watches any of our videos. Um, I have some notes ready for this one. Cause, oh. Yeah. I, I'm not prepared. I'm gonna, don't. Yeah, that's right. All I, right. I've got a phone. This is the first question that's on my list here. Um, hey, Chris, how was Christmas last week? Huh? <laughs> how was Christmas last week? Because this is coming out on New Year's Eve. How was Christmas last week? Uh, Yeah. It's New Year's Eve, Chris. Oh, okay. Big end of your podcast. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Wow, time really flies. Yeah, so how was your Christmas? It's been like two weeks in the time that we've been recording this. <laughs> it felt like it. Pain was long. <laughs> Pain was long. Um, how was your Christmas, Chris? Did you get everything you wanted? Uh, I got things. Oh, cool. I'm getting a couch. <laughs> I definitely... Not this couch. Don't... I don't have it in my room yet. I will get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's coming. Mm. I, I don't know all of what I'm getting. I know for sure that one of the things I'm getting is a knife. Oh! Which I will enjoy because yeah. it is a knife. He's a knife boy. Yeah. Well, so that'll be cool. I mean, yeah. it was cool. Yeah, it is cool. It is. Um, what else? Yeah, what am, awesome. what else am I getting? I think that's all I'm getting that I know of. I don't know what else that I got. I can't remember. How was your time with your family over Christmas? Did you have a good time doing your family traditions and all that? Me and my family, we went to Denny's on Christmas Eve because we do it every year. Oh, okay. It's uh, because yeah. of the movie The Santa Claus. They go to they go to Denny's, so we decided to. Yeah, we watched. Uh... You had to watch Polar Express twice this year. No, oh, so sorry, Chris. No, actually, my parents. Oh, so sorry. Watched that the other night. Oh, good for you. You missed um, it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it hanging out of the uh, PS4 on my way uh, to record <laughs> this week. Okay. Uh, because, you know, it's Christmas, and they just watched it. Because, you know, they watched it just a week ago Yeah. At Christmas. No, we watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Ah, instead. yes. Well, my family, we're going to wa- We watched The Santa Claus for sure. We always watch that movie every year. <laughs> How could we not watch it? So we're going to break the bit down. <laughs> it's not actually... It's not... Yeah, Christmas is in ten days Christmas for us. hasn't happened yet for us. Christmas is in ten days, but I knew this was coming out after it, so I thought that would be a funny little intro bit. Uh, yeah, don't know... <laughs> What I'm getting? I know I'm getting a couch. That's been discussed with me and my family. That's my that's my gift for my parents this year. Yeah, my <laughs> oldest sister came to my store and was like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And then bought the thing. See? Yeah. See, we get it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. That's uh. That's the first question. <laughs> yeah. I can say that because my parents aren't watching it, so, <laughs> so they they won't be mad at my sister for <laughs> literally having me pick out my gift. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it's time for our first, I guess you could say, real question. Oh, okay. Because um, this is, the whole point of this is a end of year retrospective and look forward. So we're going to start with the retrospective side of things. Yeah, uh, yeah I thought the 90s were pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it was a good year. Uh, 97 was the year I was born. 95 um, was when I was born. Uh, not, the My 90s was cool. The, the, play, the PlayStation came out in the 90s. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, it's true. Yeah, um, I came out in the 90s. <laughs> I also came out in the mid-90s. <laughs> so did Lion King, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so did Wild Wild West. Oh, also well, pretty you know, maybe cool. Maybe the 90s weren't so great after <laughs> all, actually. Yeah, there was the bowl cuts were really popular yeah, in the 90s um, as well. Uh, overalls. Well, overalls are kind of cool. Nirvana came mm. and went in the 90s. And then came back in Pan in 2015. <laughs> it did. Uh, we just watched that today. Uh, it came out two days ago for you, I believe. No, it came out yesterday, I think. Oh, wow. I think. Wow. I think that comes out Thursdays, and this is coming out Friday. Outstanding. They're up on the times. Yeah, that was just, just happened. Hey, you didn't watch it? Oh, head back and watch that. Yeah. It's audio only, because I'm a screw-up. <laughs> Remembering things is hard, guys. It really is. Mm. Um, well, our first question, which we still never got to there, we just kind of... <laughs> you know, you're just like, I'm glad. I want this to be content. <laughs> yeah. So the more we just... Don't worry. Shoot we will the crap, rip. as they say. For sure. <laughs> our we first will question is: What was your favorite moment of this? Our first year of downtown Kentucky, actually. Like it's not just this year; it was our first year. Because we're gonna probably do something like this every year, and then it'll just be over whatever year that was. For this one, it's really special because it was our first year. Our first year of streaming. What was your favorite moment? My favorite moment. Uh. Hmm. 
I think it might have been the the raid that we got during mm, it takes two mm, the raid by our the riot Emma yeah, yeah good old MMA with the riot there that was pretty dope uh, that would that's probably my probably my top two but because you said it I will choose okay. a different moment I will choose our very special spooky episode mm. of Human Fall Flat. That yeah. was um, one of our first, like, I'd call it successful streams. We had, like, seven people, like, five of them active in the chat. Like, it was a real special day. It was popping. Yeah, those were two very special moments. Just, like, those just those feelings with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a, a euphoric yeah, high. Yeah, I definitely... Lasted for a, a fat minute. <laughs> Longer than it probably should have. Oh, for sure. And then, you know, we, we came back down off of it. Uh, yeah, no, because now, now we don't get views. Yeah, we don't get views on, on Twitch, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, a little bit rough. We took, we took Thanksgiving off, and I'm pretty sure it ruined the algorithm for both uh, of the platforms we're on. Yeah. Uh, um, so we'll see what happens on, on our Christmas Twitch break. <laughs> yeah, when we take two weeks off of Twitch... We're coming back to... Will we survive? Well, yeah, because we'll be where we were right now, where it's about two people, because that's you and my mom. Mm. So, yeah, those people will still watch. Yeah, I have to watch so I can stay, you know, in tune In with the Twitch chat, chat that might show up. That's yeah, true. They might. They might. They haven't yet. It's possible. All right, now, here's a secondary question. It could be the same answer for you, but it's not for me. It's my least favorite part of it. <laughs> no, I don't have least favorite moment. There are a couple least favorite questions. Or, actually, there wasn't, because that's neg really negative. Yeah. There's a somewhat negative question we'll get to at the end of oh, okay. this retrospective side. Um, the next question is, what's your favorite video? Which might not be that favorite moment, because for me it isn't. Those two moments were great, mm. but those videos, they were okay. What's my favorite video? Yeah, your favorite video we ever did. I think it has to be <laughs> uh, the the funniest video ever? Question mark. Ah, uh, sacrifice uh, SMP episode uh, two, I believe. Yeah, when for really no reason at all, everyone was just riffing off of each it was other. A really and good comedy, right? Like I, I weird little tooting our own horn bit here. I think we've actually been making really good videos since people stopped watching us. It's really weird. I think we're like hitting our stride and doing really well now yeah. that no one watches. We're really figuring out how to like do commentary on yeah, the stuff that and we're like, doing. We're funnier together, I feel like, than we were a little bit at the beginning. We were kind of yeah. more awkward. Trying to find our yeah. find our footing. And now now that we have that, we have no audience. That's fine. I mean well, it's early. Hey, we've only been doing this like seven, eight months, I think. It's, it's May. True. So it's seven months. We've been doing this seven months. It's true. And you know, we're, we're relatively all, babies. We are. Will babies, Goo Goo Gaga, Little content babies. Ooh. Uh, all right, I don't Feed like this us anymore. your milk. <laughs> no, help! I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> Let's not. Mm. I think we should. Mm. I think we should say we did. Kind of hate it. Uh, mm, and by by gross. feed us your milk, I mean hey, go head over to Twitch and uh, give us a follow if you're not. Be greatly appreciate. Hey, make a Twitch. I don't care. You can live like never touch it. Just like follow us, please. We need you. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Um, did we never, you answered, I didn't answer. It's my okay. favorite video. Uh, my favorite video is a really kind of weird throwback video here for uh, uh, people out there. Throwbacks. Yeah. Throw it all the way um, back. to our second, um, what's it called? Kentucky Route 5 video. Oh. That's right. That's an old failed podcast we had. Which one was that even? Kentucky Route Five. Oh, would you? Oh, which, got you. Yeah. I was like, what was the second episode? Um, the second episode was our favorite people we want to be famous people we want to be friends with. Ah. Uh, it's a weird one. It shouldn't have worked, but I thought it was actually really fun. Um, we just went over like five people each of famous people we wanted to be friends Ryan with. Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, well, you and had Ryan five Reynolds different people. And Ryan Reynolds. You had Guy Fieri. And yeah, I did. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, I think maybe also. Yeah, I just like eating. <laughs> I'm hungry, guys. My my number one was the great um... Gr Grinch. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. No, that's fair. What does that even no, mean? That's a fair response. <laughs> the great. It was um. Gambino. No, um, what the, why am I blanking on his name? I feel terrible. Jim Henson. Ah. Uh, because I had just come off watching this really awesome Jim Henson documentary, and, yeah, I just, uh, Jim Henson seems like a really cool guy, really inspiring. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Jim Henson was my answer for my number one. I think Ryan Reynolds was my number one. I think he was. <laughs> kind of sounds right. Um, but if you don't know, and maybe we're wrong, go back and check out that video. Yeah. And check out all of our back content, please. Yeah, we've got a lot of it. We do. I like, think. a lot. I believe... 
not for this, because this will come out a little bit later. I believe the last Sacrifice SMP we're doing this year, hmm. which happened two weeks ago for you people, right, was our 100th video on YouTube. Jeez. I believe. <laughs> and we've been doing content for less than a year. Uh, seven months. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh-huh. All right, so that's our favorite videos. Moving on to our next question. What is it? It's a once again a similar question because it's you know kind of uh, it's very uh, retrospectivey. It's you know uh, there's only so many things I can ask. Me, me, me. Sorry, <laughs> we just got a, got off a of Nicktoons night. Yeah, um, that's Nicktoons night episode two, which came out on Tuesday of this week. Mm, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what was your favorite series we've done? Like, what's your favorite video series we've done? I have an answer, if you want me to go first. Favorite series? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go, go first, first twice. Time. Yeah, my favorite, I think the one that genuinely had, like, the best... Specifically, let's go with video game series, I guess. I don't know. Mm. You, whatever your answer is. If you have yeah, an fine. My answer would be, I think, Human Fall Flat. Because one of my favorite moment ever was in it. And I just think we... I thought it was a really fun thing. We weren't... I don't think as good as we are now. Like, we weren't as good at commentary yet. Mm. But I just think it was a fun game, and I feel like... There was no episodes of that that I feel like where we were, like, banging our heads in. Like, a lot of the other games would have at least an episode where it's like, what's happening? Why is this game not working the way it's supposed to? No. That's fair. I just felt like that game r ran smoothly. <laughs> ran smoothly supposed. and wasn't a headache to play. Except for every time we had to start and trying to get us both in the game mm. it would take forever. But that's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought that was a fun series. I enjoyed Human Fall Flight. Yeah. Um... That's a. This is a tough one. That's fair. Uh, Masterpiece Media. No, that the one that was on a video game. Awesome. I, know. I did say it was gonna be a video, video game. Video. Okay, sorry. Lego Star Wars. No, definitely not. That has to be one of my least favorite that we've done. Sorry, <laughs> Chewie, if you're watching this. Yeah, the only uh, only good thing that came from that Lego Star Wars series was, was our super fan Chewie. One um, of our most dedicated watchers. Yeah, yet. we love you, Chewie. I um, hope you had a great Christmas. No, I think it's either got to be Video Game Dev Tycoon. That's that'd be up there for me too. I or guess. It Takes Two. Those are both great. Those are two our two most recent series. Is they are. Um, it Takes Two will actually be continuing next, starting again next week. We're That's not true. done with the game. It's not done yet. Um, Video Game Dev Tycoon did end two weeks ago. You saw that last episode where we killed the game. Maybe because maybe. we're playing it tomorrow. We don't know if we killed it. We're yeah. trying. We're gonna. We're gonna we do beat our best. the game. We did beat the game, which we did. But we'll see if we can kill the company we created. Uh. Yeah, I really feel like video game dev tycoon. There's been like no dull moments. That's fair. Um, it's all been pretty, pretty entertaining. No, I mean, no, I Chris, that's probably my number two to play. Like I get you. Uh, I think my only thing with game dev tycoon that I di slightly dislike is it's from a slightly different era from us, where we have less people there, and I, li I like active chat, mm -hmm. which is why I think part of why Human Fall Flat kind of won because it was one of our. It was our first, like, successful series, really, that we would get, like, more than a viewer. Yeah. Like, it was like, oh, Usually cool, we're getting... we have, like, two to three people yeah. in chat. Which was like, oh, th and they were, like, active in chat, yeah. which was cool. That was cool. Um, yeah, that, or, or t it takes two. It's That's just been, fair. like, a really fun game That's to play. It's game. super beautiful. Also, we've... Starting out, we had some pretty decent, you know, we did. number of people attending. Yeah. Um, it's dropped off as of late, but, you know, that's probably because of We took, thanks we took Thanksgiving off. Uh, How dare we not stream on Thanksgiving? Yeah. Should have done a game move. dev tycoon day that day, you know. Ooh, that would have gone over well with your parents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think Seth and Lizzie would have mind who I spent Thanksgiving with. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Hey, you know, that's your answer. Okay. Well, you have to choose. Okay. Your gun, gun to your head. Gun it's to not a real gun. Game, Su like a... Susan, it's not a real gun. <laughs> Susan, 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 we love you. Mm. I will say, actually, my runner-up, much as like I said it was Game of Tycoon, it's Sacrifice SMP. I'm really loving the vibe of adding CJ in there. That's fair. Hopefully next year for this retrospective, we'll get CJ in here. And maybe another person in, if we can't. Like, Ooh, we'll find get... out next year. Well, we'll find out later in this video. Find we'll... out later in the video. Later in this video, we're teasing. We have lo the uh, second half of the video is to look okay. forward. Okay. <laughs> all right. Moving on to our... Not our last at all. Oh. Our next question. Okay. Um, what is your favorite failed series? My favorite so so well, I, mean, I want to share what ones I think those count as because okay. specifically we have 
Lego Star Wars. <laughs> no, that actually... Oh, yeah, we didn't finish it. So yeah, no. Lego Star Wars, Masterpiece Media, mm-hmm. Sit Commentary, right. uh, Kentucky Route 5, and I'm going to count this one, which people are going to be like, wait, what? Especially if you're a YouTube viewer. Heave Ho. <laughs> it's two parts. I was playing like basically the same levels, but the game just wouldn't work for us. So I will count that as a fifth option. Mm. So of those, what, were, what of those is your favorite series? Uh, my favorite failed series, I think, would probably have to be Masterpiece Media, because we fair. got to watch Adventure Time, and I just love that show. That makes sense. And getting to watch and analyze that show was kind of fun to do. Yeah, it was just a lot of work for nothing. It was, yeah. That's a series, like, that's one of those series, like, honestly, except for, like, some of those, like, Heave Ho, Star Wars, we might come back to it. I, I really do want to do Heave Ho one, like, Tuesday video in it. That's fair. We'll see. Now that we have, like, you have good internet and we're not using Steam Play, yeah. it should work, but, you know, who knows, because it should have... There's arguments that it should have worked the first two times we tried, and it didn't. Yeah. Those videos, you've never seen them. They don't exist for you. No, they um, <laughs> yeah, no, they were not They were not good. Especially because they were early on, there wasn't a lot of viewers, and we weren't funny yet. Like, Or we, we were. I don't, I don't think we were. I don't remember us being that funny in that video. Like, I really don't remember. I don't remember for sure, but I feel like we didn't... That was during that era where we weren't quite... We were just trying to be streamers, if that makes sense. I feel like we've gotten to the point now where we're just having fun. Yeah, that's valid. And, like, yeah, so, mine is, um, it would be, it would be really easy to say sitcomentary, because mm-hmm. I loved, sitcom. I, I love sitcoms, specifically we were starting with Raising Hope, which yeah. is one of my favorite sitcoms. If you want to know my top ten favorite sitcoms, you can watch the last ever episode of sitcomentary, which was a, a just me, because Chris was out of town, yep. going, doing a top ten, like, 40 minute video about my favorite sitcoms and why I like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happened. Um, I don't remember what number one was. Probably How I Met Your Mother. Mm. Just out of, like, principle and, like, watching it so many times I had to consider it. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? The point is, by my answer, which I still haven't got to because no. I have ADD or ADHD. I don't know which one. I'm, neither of them were diagnosed, so I don't know what I have. Mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. Um, my answer is, uh, Kentucky Route 5. Mm. I really loved that show. Uh, it, we were at the point where we were already kind of running out of ideas. Yeah. But for what we did, I think we did a really, I liked those episodes. I think those kind of hold up, you know. Um, there's something that, you know, hey, there's a couple ideas out there. Maybe someday we'll come back to that. I think that's the thing about those three pot, original podcasts that failed, is I think there's a, there is a path someday where we might come back to them once we have, like, a built-in audience <laughs> that's fair. that would actually watch them. Like, yeah. Because, like, I love, I really like Raising Hope, and I really like getting you to watch Raising Hope, because you are, like, a professed hater of sitcoms, but we're enjoying it, which, it was kind of my hope for that kind of show, was to show you, like, hey, when you have to watch this analytically, and I pick the best of the best, you might realize, oh, there's a couple good sitcoms out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely was a, a solid show that I would yeah. watch um, if I didn't have to do it analytically. Yeah. Maybe 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 uh, maybe those shows will come back as you know movie club commentary esque shows. <laughs> who maybe. knows? Who, who knows? knows? Stick we'll, around. Stick around. We have so much more for you. This... We have so much planned. <laughs> yeah, for even really when we get to the second half of this video, we're talking about our future plans. You'll see. There's a lot of big plans for next year. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <sighs> All right, moving on. Uh, actually, that was the end of the kind of the retrospective side. Now moving into the future. Uh, we're going to the future. We got two questions about the future. Um, uh, I think everyone's going to drive to Lorian's. I don't know. It already happened. It was 2013. I think that was what happened. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Or was 2015? Hoverboards. Mm. Uh, those, those, they're, they're they're, like they, the, they exist, the but they're really crappy. Yeah. <laughs> the segues without the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what's your achievable goal for next year for the channel? What's like something you think we can actually do? Uh, I think me and Austin's goal are probably going to be the same. Yeah, probably. Uh, and that's going to be becoming an affiliate. Yeah, Twitch. I think it's it's believable. Like we're at forty followers. We are very close. And currently not hitting the watch p- people watching goal. Yeah, but I think that can change. I think I think if we start getting if we get to the point where we get ten more followers, we'll probably have, hopefully get one or two people who might be willing to watch episodes regularly. Yeah, so and we have a pretty enough schedule to do. Yeah, so, so hopefully that I think that's probably my goal. I'll try to try to think if there's a different goal I can say just so we're not saying the same thing. Uh, become funny. <laughs> well, I think we're Detroit. I think we're... Become funny. <laughs> I think my uh, to say a different goal. My goal, and it's I think an achievable goal. 
is to um not what I was gonna say. <laughs> mm, yeah, so that is an achievable goal. Forget. My achievable goal is next year, like I said as a joke ish earlier, is try to get some of the other member slash maybe members on mm-hmm. this retrospective podcast. I think that'd be fun. We'll see if I can get those schedules to line up. But I will yeah. but I will try. It'll be uh tricky <sighs> to say the least. Actually I think We'll talk after. I think I actually have a way that it might work. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, moving on to our next one, which is dreams for next year. These are not achievable goals. Oh, okay. Just a couple things like that you really hope happen next year or in the next couple of years. My dream mm-hmm. for next year is to work with Dream. Uh, oh. No. I mean, I'd be down. I mean, he's, I mean, he's huge. It would help us immensely if someone were able to work with Dream. Yeah. I mean, but I don't watch his content, that so it would actually be insane. it doesn't mean much for me personally. No, that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess my dream is that like somehow we get really lucky next year. Oh and, yeah, that's fair. Like one of our videos blows up or one of our streams blow up for no reason. Yeah. And that we just get like a huge dump of people. And by huge, I mean like, you know, maybe 50 viewers who just view our stream on a consistent basis. Yeah. Would be astounding. It would be. I'm not asking to, you know, become the next big big Twitch streamer. Uh, My goal is to be the 59th biggest Twitch channel and the <laughs> 172nd biggest YouTube channel because I have to count in those Vivo channels that'll make it really hard for us mm, you yeah. know and like the random corporations so we'll be a lot smaller on YouTube than Twitch but I want to be no- top number 59 yes. that's my dream I mean that is a big dream <laughs> but also like I did I didn't go top 10 you like no, 59. no 59 I know I know by ceiling mm. <laughs> yeah no it would be just really cool if we could have like yeah. a solid group of consistent viewers and yeah. then, you know our, our channel will just be healthy would yeah, be dope be nice be nice, which would be, be nice like here's the thing i love you're my best friend i love doing this with you and feeling like we're trying to do something yeah and like i don't see myself stopping anytime soon because i enjoy it but it'd be nice if there was like a little bit of a reward like from the con like, it'd be nice so. if there was like validation that we're doing something that's working <laughs> Yeah, and uh, hmm, that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't think we would stop even if we, like, weren't successful for no. a while. No, I don't. Because, you know, part of it is just the grind. Yeah, it's a grind. It's also just, like, it's accepting, like, it's also, like, I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to word this. The, I'm getting to, like, have fun with my best friend. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, we're making it on a schedule and makes it work in a sense, but it's really not. Like, once... There are days where I'm like, oh, I have to stream tonight. And then the second I'm in stream, I don't care. Because yeah. it's it's fun. Just hanging out. I'm hanging out with my best friend or my childhood best friend and my best friend or next year, another mutual friend of me and my best friend. Like, it's going to yeah. be... Just everything I'm doing is going to be fun. It is going to be a good time. Yeah. Uh, it would be awesome if we had, you know, an audience to share that with. Yeah. Uh, I say have good times to, with those people to be slightly different than Chris, but still the same. And I feel like this is not it is a dream, so it doesn't have to be even achieved. This is more my dream for the next couple of years. I want, I want us to be able to like, I want Chris to be able to quit his job. Like that's my dream because oh, then we could do more content. Like that would be sick. we could do more for people. Like that involves what Chris said, but like, like and here's the thing. I'm I live with my parents. I don't currently get paid, and they're fine with that. Like I'm this, and I'm a homeschool teacher. I. I I don't honestly. I more care about getting him to be able to quit his job, which means we have to make enough money for him to be able to quit his job. If I don't make a lot, and I just get to buy the games I need. I'll be okay with that for now. So like, that's my dream. Um, secondary to that question, it's not even on my list. This is one that just came to me. Oh, what's your dream collab for us to be able to do next year? Dream collab. Yeah. Man. Okay. So yeah, if. Uh, some random YouTubers and or Twitch streamers hit up, yeah, hit us up out of nowhere. I would love for it to be, uh, probably the guys from uh, Chuckle Sandwich, uh, which is gonna be uh, uh, Charlie Slimesicle, uh, Jay Schlatt, who is one of the that menaces of the familiar. internet. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, even if you don't watch Jay Schlatt, you'll probably have heard Jay yeah. Schlatt's name. Uh, and Ted Nipison. Um, These names mean nothing to me, but you know, hey. That's valid. Um, My answer is dream. 
<laughs> or if I have to do just one person, um, which is probably more the route that it should go. Probably. It wasn't and what I was thinking. But these yeah. people are more like, or they're more YouTubers than Twitch streamers. Mm. And if we had to do a collab like on Twitch, uh, Moist Critical. <laughs> Fair. For sure. Um, Seems my... like a cool dude. I had to be down to eat hot peppers, which is something that he just does a lot, is just eat hot stuff. And I love hot food, so... Um, I'm gonna start with my my dream. My dream is my like my dream period for like getting into content creation. Wait, 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 wait. First your teeth? Yes, but no. Specific well, more specifically. Sp- Funhouse. Fun I want house. I want to do stuff with Funhouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Funhouse is like they're my favorite channel. Um, if you watched our top five famous people, I want to be friends with, which makes it awkward if we ever did stream with them because that video exists. Yeah. Or did something with them, but I uh, it was James Williams on that list. Like I, I love Funhouse. Funhouse isn't what it was when I started watching Funhouse the people the, the cast has changed but what? this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that's gonna could be considered controversial <gasps> they're better than they ever were oh my god like it's different there's a nostalgia for me for the the OGs but you know they all left for different reasons and justifiable reasons for different sides of the reason yeah but um like it makes sense that it changed but like Omar and Charlotte are probably funnier than anyone else that was ever on that channel so <laughs> Hmm. Spicy take. Um, Wait, who's Charlotte? Uh, is that Charlotte Lanzar? No, that's no. that's uh, Alana. Alana. Alana's <laughs> not really there anymore. She uh, like, she's there occasionally, but she has like a job, like in like video game writing now. I see. I see. Yeah, like a video game journalist. Yeah. No. No. Like no. writing. Like she's oh. like making video games. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a little random tidbit of Alana news for y'all. There you the go. Alana news segment. Everyone tuned in. Well, to me, this is the Downtown Kentucky Podcast, and they expect us to give breaking news stories. So there's a news story from, like, a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, it was in Cyberpunk 2077. Ooh. Yeah. But uh, to choose one person, because Chris did that, and I feel like I now need to. Um, I don't have an answer. Um, uh-huh. I guess I'll go with uh, Duly Noted Gaming, I believe is the name of his channel. Mm-hmm. He used to be part of Achievement Hunter. He still kind of is, but isn't. I see. Yeah, he's cool. Jeremy. Jeremy's cool. I'd like to do work with him. I think that's, if anything, more achievable than Funhouse because he's a Twitch streamer. There's a chance you could meet up with Twitch. Like, that's yeah. feels more... Uh, Mr. Beast. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. If we did that, though, like, I don't know. That's fine. I mean... I'll do it. But he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I just... I don't watch his content at all, which makes yeah, it really awkward. Yeah, no, same. Like, I have to, like, at least watch the content a little bit for it to, I feel like, it'd mm-hmm. make any sense. Yeah, to, <laughs> yeah. to have it be your dream collab. Oh, yeah. and you know, a secondary answer, um, channel Dan Drambles, he does, uh, like, movie stuff. Mm. And, you know, we're, we're dabbling in some movie stuff, so, you know, I'd love to have him be, do something with reviews. him at some point. Yeah. Um, All right. What's that next question? What's up next on the, on the oh, docket? Oh, it's time for announcements. Oh, my gosh. We have announcements? Yeah, we have a couple, actually. We have three. All right. Oh, well, two, two or three. Uh, it's three. It's I'm three. with child. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm who's, pregnant. Oh, who's the father? Me. Oh. Mac. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, yeah. Good for you. Yeah, it's falling down. Don't um. Worry. Uh, yeah. Set, so set. first announcement. Uh, we're canceling everything. <laughs> This is actually the last video. <laughs> last video of <laughs> downtown Kentucky. Remember when we said we wear dreams that are gone? Remember when we said we never stop we lie? No, um. Nah. <laughs> nah. Um, well, the first one um, is uh, going forward. We finally have, like, a theme for Thursdays. Um, Thursdays has, like, a purpose now. It's kind of Thursdays. It's had, like, three different purposes as our channel's gone through. Thursdays didn't even exist at the beginning. Initially, it was Saturdays, but then mm-hmm. it became the but yeah. What doesn't matter? Nothing from the Saturday era is exists anymore. No, no it doesn't. Because <laughs> Saturday was uh, Minecraft. No, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Their videos are out there. You have to know where to find them, and there's no way for you to find them because they're unlisted. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, the point is Thursdays now have a theme. What's that theme? Pokemon. No, no. Oh. I, mean, I guess it could be. Because <laughs> our theme is uh-huh. Throwback Thursdays. Specific, is the theme general theme for Thursdays in general. We're going to be playing old games. As you've seen the last two weeks, we're playing some old games. We played some, you know, Super Mario 64. We played Nicktoons Unite. Yeah, yeah everyone's favorite old game. But those are two older games, so we're, like, going to be 
I we're having a lot. I think we're having. I'm, I'm at least having a lot of fun playing older games. I think it's it adds something different. It's you know just it's diff it's different. It's you know a little peak panic and you know a little more affordable. Mm. Um, it is a lot, a lot a bit more yeah, affordable. We'll just leave it at that. You can connect the dots if you want to, but um, or don't. yeah, please don't. Susan. Susan. Oh. <laughs> Susan. Uh, <laughs> uh, my number one collab is Susan. I actually want to collab with the right with Susan. Susan, please stop. To, uh, give me back my money for the Star Wars videos. And also give me money for the Star Wars videos. <laughs> <laughs> give us money at all. Please let me be monetized. I know I don't meet any of the qualifications, but please. Please. Ooh, please. Give me that good old milky. The, which is money. Money milk. Mm. So anyways, moving right along Throwback to our next announcement. No, it's still the same. Oh, okay. It's like, that's one. That'll be the general vibe for Thursdays going forward until we inevitably change it again. <laughs> but initially, our first series that we're launching through Throwback Thursday, because <laughs> complicated, uh -huh. is our Childhood Classics series. Ah, uh, yes. Um, and recalling this. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah. I actually think we technically talked about this and not Throwback Thursdays officially. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, Childhood Classics is going to be, uh, we're playing our childhood favorite games. We're going to be starting with uh, my childhood favorite game, which was um, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Mm. And um, the way we're going to be doing it is we're going to be having the other person play our favorite game like chris is going to be playing wrath of cortex i'll be doing commentary mm. and then when we finish that part of the series we will do the second half where i will play chris's favorite game sly cooper baby yeah the thievius raccoon yeah <laughs> yeah um i never played that i think chris did play a little bit of wrath of cortex I think or a that, lot yeah maybe we'll find out i think wrath of cortex was like the first game i ever beat so uh -huh. So it's a special one in my, you know, childhood memories. Um, yeah, so that's some um, our next two series is on Thursdays will be that. Boom. And then after that, maybe we'll do a second round of childhood classics, like our, some other games we really loved from our childhood. Jack or, and Daxter. <laughs> or we'll just do random games. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Random. Yeah, we'll see. But the first ones are going to be that. Feel it out. Yeah. Um, our next one is one we've actually announced before, but this is our first official announcement in like a video like this, I guess. I don't oh my know. gosh. Or not. It's set in stone. <laughs> I don't know if you know which one it is yet. Mud. <laughs> this one is our What's Happening for Movie Club next year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've kind of set it, but we never like said, this is the announcement, and this is the announcement. Year of DCOMs. Mm -hmm. Year of DCOMs, baby. Coming at you. Movie Club. Because we watched, if you're a fan of Movie Club, are you? Do you actually exist? But if you are, <laughs> how? Are you really? So you, you don't watch it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I just really like the idea of people watching a movie and doing commentary to it. Just really, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that they're doing this. I wouldn't listen to I would it never listen to no. <laughs> but I think it's a cool concept. It's a cool idea. I support them. <laughs> but not, but not actually. Yeah. I will not support them. <laughs> yeah, don't have the time to do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Movie Club Commentary, um, which is our, you know, Mystery Science 3000, Rift Tracks, uh, Achievement Hunter, Theater Mode. Like, ev they're, they're, everyone and their mother has done this before and better. Because all of those people got the rights to it and would, like, show you the video movie, which makes it easier to consume. Yeah. But we're a channel that doesn't even get viewers. We're so... A baby, we're a little baby content oh, machine. Oh, little baby, give us milky. Uh, <laughs> no, no more milky. <laughs> That's the running joke. I mean, we need it, but... We do. We need that money. Baby. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, so we're doing... During that series, we started watching the Halloween Town movies, which are some of my actually childhood favorite movies. Um, which watching them critically did hurt them for me, and um, <laughs> I do regret it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, uh, we watched the all four Halloween time movies this past October for like, a special <sighs> Halloween time thing. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah. Which are some of the better decoms. Now we don't get to watch them during the year of decoms. That's right. But we watching those realized that those I feel like are very much like the perfect level of bad hmm. for a fun commentary kind of thing. We'll find out if the rest of them are. Yeah, we'll Next see. year. Next year, all decoms, where we have 52 planned. All the classics that you remember are going to be there, probably, unless you like really obscure ones, because I 
There are more yeah. than 52. I had... Or unless you were born in like 2010. Oh yeah, there's no, there was going to be one more recent one starring Zendaya, but that got cut because I found the first ever decom, which is going to be our first one this upcoming week, which is Under Wraps. The mm-hmm. original, not the remake. With Zendaya. No, she's not in it. No. But not Zendaya. She wasn't in it either. There was going to be a movie called Frenemies. We're uh, not watching it. It was Zendaya and Bella Thorne. Yes. <laughs> okay, I guess maybe we need to watch it because Chris is a big fan of it. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, we were going to watch that, and here's the thing. Someday we might, just not in a specific year of decoms. So yeah, it's not going to be... I know you're thinking, oh, so you're watching them in order? No, we're not watching them in order. Just this first one's in order. Yep. Um, we're going to kind of pick and choose some of the best ones, or pick some of the really good ones, really popular ones early. We're ending, spoiler for number 52 of next season, <gasps> is going to be my favorite decom, which I know you're like, isn't it Halloween Town? Maybe. But my favorite non-Halloween Town decom is um, the movie Lemonade Mouth. Mm. So I'm treating that as a reward for myself, that if I, if I can make it through the 51 other ones, I get to watch my favorite. <laughs> Chris doesn't get a reward. Chris has yeah, to suffer through. I just get to suffer the whole year. Chris's reward is next year we get to watch not decom. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we'll start off watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles finally. That's true. We might watch that for you next year. Maybe. Well, the movie's actually good, so I don't know if it's actually a good movie to Find watch. Find out in 2023. Yeah, 2023, the year of other things. If you don't like DCOM, see you in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> or if you, you know, or just anyone, uh, see you in 2023. <laughs> just kidding. Hopefully, yeah, the year of DCOM does well. See we'll you see. in 2023. To be fair, to be fair, pause. I was making a joke about seeing you in 2023 and how that's when we're going to... I was going to make a joke last when we quit. And you oh. get to see us again because we won't be busy every day. <laughs> but... This actually might do well because the Halloween Town movies did do really well on our channel. So, hopefully, hmm. these do well. We'll see. Come on, you Disney adults. Yeah. Watch or, DCOM for Or, us. like, Disney Millennials, which I feel like is really the DCOM market. Mm-hmm. Like, people like our age who grew up watching DCOMs. Like, come on, please. We're going to watch them and Pretty please. crap on them. Because they all suck. Be honest. Hmm. <sighs> True. Uh, it's time for our final <gasps> upcoming... Segment. Announcement. Oh. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Okay. We are launching a new podcast. That's right. It's what everyone's been demanding. More white guys on podcasts. <laughs> another down talk and talking podcast. You did three and they failed. Please give us another. <laughs> hey, we have one that hasn't failed in. We heard your demands. <laughs> we have one that's kind of okay. That isn't failing, I guess. Sure. And you could maybe count Movie Club Commentary as a podcast if you want. You could. It's kind of one. Kind of, yeah. It's not, a, not one that you could watch without... Watch, that's not the point. We're not launching Movie Club Commentary. We already have that. Right. We have like 17 episodes, I believe. Yeah. Go watch those, please. You can you can skip Wild Wild West. It's, it, the movie sucks. You can also skip Fantastic... Skip actually all of them. <laughs> no, no, no. The whole point is... They already did skip enough. It's okay. They weren't going to watch it anyway, Chris. Chris, no one's watching this video. Uh, Oh. Why am I here? (laughs) Because someday in like five years when we finally make it, someone will go back and watch our old content and be like, Whoa, they announced the things that came out. They knew what they were going to do. Making some really big assumptions here, Austin. They did someday stream with Funhouse. I mean, it was none of the members of Funhouse they remembered. They were all gone, because Funhouse always loses members. <laughs> but it was the new, new, new class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Omar was still there. Omar! <laughs> James is still there somehow. Maybe. Ooh. He's 60 now. <laughs> still jacked as hell. Uh, yeah, he is jacked. <laughs> Uh, so the podcast we're launching, because once again, We Have ADD, mm. um, is a new podcast. It is actually... Little, little, little backstory. Cause why not? Oh, okay. I watched um like match before. Dan Drambles had a series of videos called Wholesome Halloween, where he did like little ten minute reviews and like. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, uh-huh. video video essays, kind of a thing. Oh, okay. That's the word I was looking for. Um, on horror movies, he did it two years, uh, 2020 and 2021, and I um. Fell in love with the idea of horror movies through his content. I don't... Historically, I never really was into horror movies. I didn't understand it. I don't like mm. being scared. The few I've seen, I most of them I enjoyed. I've seen 
the first uh, Nightmare. I've seen all of the Scream movies. I've seen the Hellraiser randomly. <laughs> I've seen it, chapter one and two. Enjoyed those. Like there's a little, some of the the one the horror. Doesn't me like you like horror movies. The few that I've seen, I did enjoy. But then I was also like, I hate Dead Silence. Mm. But that's there's also some scarring stories yeah. behind me watching that initially, which aren't necessary. Mm. Well, spoiler for this new horror movie podcast we're launching. I'm gonna make the statement: We're never watching Dead Silence. I'm never watching that movie. I'm sorry. Sorry. Dead Everything Silence else fans. probably gonna be on the table at some point. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, it's called Horror Boys. Woo! Yeah, which is um, a playoff of our old, you know, Crafty Boys series that none of you know about. That's right, because it's gone. Yeah, it's gone forever. That's Saturday content. Remember when we talked about the Saturday content that you can't find? That's what that was Crafty Boys. There it is. <laughs> it's gone. But there it goes. we wanted to, you know, pay homage to that as well as find a name that's not taken. Because boy, howdy, is there a lot of horror podcasts? Yeah, right? horror podcasts. Seems like it might be like the number one podcast idea. Oops. <laughs> Time to flood the market. Time to add more people into that market. Um, we are also, like I kind of hinted at in this video, we have a third person going to be on that. Oh my gosh. New member. Yeah, new member of downtown Kentucky. Um, his name is Isaiah. You will Don't know, know nothing him. else about him because he has no social media or internet presence. That's right, baby. And never will other than this podcast. So <laughs> he'll be joining us. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the classics probably to start. You know, I don't know what we're going to start with. We haven't discussed that, the group of us, but... We'll um, figure it out. Yeah, the plan is to do something like, a, probably like, series at a time. Like, we'll start with the Friday the 13th and watch all of them, which some of them suck, but we'll do that. We'll Halloween, whatever, whichever one we start with, I don't know. We'll start with something and we'll watch the whole series. Probably. Not in one episode, obviously. Right. Once a week. This will be a once a week podcast. Um, it'll be coming out starting Monday, January 10th. There you go. If you like horror movies. Yeah, we are and watching. you like our content, you've got yeah. something to look forward if to. If you don't like our content, maybe you'll like Isaiah. <laughs> maybe. He's yeah. a pretty cool guy. He's a cool dude. I like Isaiah. I'm he plays banjo. He does. Probably not on the content. We'll see. Mm, probably not. Uh, maybe if we watch some like, real backwoodsy movie, we can get him to play <laughs> the <laughs> intro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's... Our that's, final announcement. That's the final announcement. Um, oh, sorry. Last announcement. Uh, this is the last video ever. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> no, we're not ending on that. We're, we won't nah. end on saying that. Um, I guess we'll end on just thank you. If you watch this, if you're seeing this, thank you. I'm, I'm probably going to, you know, beg you to watch it on social media for the first time in months. But, you know, if you actually did, thank you. If you're Chewy, thank you. Somehow yeah. Meme Lord found this, thank you. Um... <laughs> Yeah. If you've watched any of our content, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Um, um, here's to more. Yeah. Hopefully the next year will be even better than this year. Because this year is pretty darn great. A thousand years of downtown Kentucky. Maybe six. Uh, eventually we'll find where downtown is. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, you're never getting that story. No. no never. You'll, you'll get it. You had to be there. Also, it, like, there's reasons why I probably should never tell you the story. Nah. Just yeah. leave it at that. Bye bye! Goodbye.